Hello and welcome to our PC build parts list for January. Now as you probably know, earlier this month Intel launched their new Kaby Lake range of processors. But most of the focus has been on the high-end SKUs, mainly the i5-7600K and the i7-7700K. Now for our challenge this month, an entry-level KB Lake based gaming PC for roughly the same price as that i7 chip. Now with the current price for the i7-7700K in the UK being roughly £350, we've used that as our target. So first of all, let's look at the CPU. For this we've gone for the brand new Pentium G4560. At under £65 you're getting a 3.5 GHz dual core with hyper threading giving you a total of 4 threads. And it's only got a slightly slower speed than the i3s for a lot less money. For the motherboard we're going with a H110 based Micro ATX motherboard. This is the ASRock H110M DGS and it's an absolute bargain at about 45 quid. The memory we've chosen is one stick of 8 gigabytes of crucial DDR4 which is going to run at 2133 megahertz. Now only buying one stick will allow us to upgrade to 16 gig in the future easily. Okay for storage I'm going to show you two options either a 120 gigabyte solid state drive from OCZ this one's the OCZ Trion or a 500 gigabyte Western Digital Blue hard drive. Now ideally I'd say both but to keep within the budget we're going to go with just the hard drive for now. The SSD will generally make things faster but if you're just gaming I'd say that the storage is much more important. GTA 5 for example would take up half of that SSD at an install size of 65 gig. Now for the graphics card we've gone with the GTX 1050 in the form of the Palette Storm X card. At just £105 this is a great deal for a good entry level card. Although if you want better frame rates you could up this to a 1050 Ti for about another 30 quid. I did look at the RX 460 which would have come in a lot cheaper but the GTX 1050 I believe would be a better option to go with this processor. Now for the case I've gone for white. This is the Bitphoenix Nova Mid Tower. It is a really good looking case and it includes both USB 2 and USB 3 ports on the front along with the usual headphone and microphone jacks. The case will take two 120mm fans at the front which are not supplied but there is one 120mm exhaust fan at the rear which is. Now there are windowed versions of this case available but we'll go with windowless just to keep within the budget. At less than £25 this is one of the best cases I've seen for a budget build. And finally the power supply. Here we've chosen an EVGA 430 watt 80 plus certified power supply. Now this is going to run this build easily and it will handle plenty of upgrades that you may want to make to this system in the future. So there you go, a fantastic build at almost bang on our £350 target. I'll include links to all the parts featured today in the description below. Don't forget to like this video and check out the other videos on our channel. I'll put a few on the channel right now for you to have a look at. Click that subscribe button. We've got a lot of amazing videos coming up for you to see and I will see you later.